Good morning. Sir. We'll be starting the last topic of uh, shipbuilding. That's prefabrication, and then we'll uh, start with your past papers. Now, prefabrication is basically uh, as a base. If I'll tell you the metro line, uh, where the metro line was connected, uh, the sections were prefabricated in various areas, and then they had brought together and simply is simply fitted. So that is prefabrication. Similarly, if you see in uh, China. A lot of buildings are erected, maybe in short time. That is by prefabrication. So it is used in manufacture of ships, aircrafts, and kinds of vehicles and machines, where your sections are assembled at the final point of manufacture, are assembled elsewhere, uh, assembled, and elsewhere instead being delivered for the final assembly. That means they are manufactured in different areas, the sections. Then they are brought to the shipyard and assembled. Now, the theory behind this uh, method is to save your time and cost. So, your assembly line techniques can be employed in prefabrication at a location where your skilled labor is available. And uh, you are reducing uh, wastage of time and congestion at the assembly site. So, the method finds application particularly with the structure being composed of repeating units or forms or where multiple copies of the same basic structure are being constructed. So that section is being made and then brought to the final area for assembly. So the prefabrication avoids the need of transport so many skilled workers to the construction site and then there are restriction uh, restricted uh, conditions like you might not have uh, power there so much or lack of water or exposure to harsh weather or hazardous environment that can be avoided during prefabrication because you can manufacture the sections elsewhere and then transport so these advantages must be weighed against the cost of transporting uh, prefabricated sections and then lifting them into position as they will be larger and more fragile and more difficult to handle than the materials and components which they are made of. So they are used to form uh, in building civil engineering where you have prefabricated concrete or prefabricated steel sections and the particular part or form can be repeated many times. So it is, uh, can be difficult to construct the framework required to mold concrete sections and deliver wet concrete to a site before you start actual precise time management. So only when the setting is done, then you have to transport. When the actual section is made, then you transport. So prefabricating steel sections reduces on-site cutting and welding cost as well as the associated hazards. So these techniques can be used for construction of apartment blocks also, housing development societies with repeating housing units. And the quality of prefabricated uh, housing units can have increased to the point that they may not be distinguishable from the traditionally built units. Like nowadays you have modular uh, furniture. So modular furniture is uh, like the sections are brought together and joined at the point where you want it. Modular kitchens you have, all that is prefabricated. So you can use an office blocks, warehouses, factory buildings, steel sections, uh, glass sections widely used for exterior of large buildings. Uh, then your houses, cottages, log cabins, saunas, all can be used with prefabricated elements. So now we'll come to the actual shipping part. Now this is basically transporting of prefabricated Airbus wing assembly. So then they'll be joined together. Similarly, your parts like your uh, collision bulkhead or your bulbous bow is prefabricated and brought to the actual site. So small prefabrication involves assembly where necessary. Uh, you have necessary welding of sheet metal, pipe work to do small side place pieces such as walkway. The welding is either done electrically or using gas in inert atmospheres. The main aim of large prefabrication, which can be done both in parallel or in series with small prefabrication, 
is the construction of semi worked items which make up the elements of the base and the plating and then when they are assembled you can have appropriate walls of insulation and soundproofing so you pro produce a complete block and then construct the ship so the interiors are made of wood which comes from the shipyard carpenters and from other materials which have been previously worked on in various departments and the materials used may retain must retain the characteristics in a marine environment so different blocks of ship are constructed contemporarily in different islands and thus provide the better work organization and reduce your overall overall construction time so work from ground is carried out using safety platforms parapets scaffoldings elevator platforms cranes and uh, work progresses may be necessary to work in restricted spaces particularly when carrying out interior work in small cabins carved out of block now what are your advantages and disadvantages so moving partial assembly from factory often costs less than moving production resources to each site and deploying uh, resources on site can add cost prefabricating assemblies can save cost by reducing on site work so that is the advantage there that the factory tools like jigs cranes conveyors can make the production faster and more precise and the factory tools like shake care tables hydraulic testers can offer additional quality assurance during prefabrication then your consistent indoor environments of factories eliminate your impact of weather on production because maybe shipyard is exposed to that harsh weather but when you do prefabrication you can do it indoor so your cranes and reusable factory supports can allow shapes and sequences without expensive on site false work higher precision factory tools can aid to more control movement of building heat and air for lower energy consumption and healthier buildings then the factory production can facilitate optimization of material usage recycling noise capture dust capture and the machine mediated parts movement and freedom from wind and rain can improve the construction so these are the advantages of prefabrication disadvantages are transportation cost may be higher for voluminous prefabricated sections than for the smaller uh, raw materials which are uh, often densely packed but the fa the final product will require large movements uh, large kind of uh, larger cranes uh, larger uh, the uh, trucks will be much bigger that will be so many, that will be a specialty so that might cost more then large prefabricated section may require heavy duty cranes and precision uh, measurement and handling to place in position and again that might be a disadvantage so we will not do this off site uh, fabrication so like this is prefabrication then you have uh, modular modular uh, modular structures and partitioning actually so you are uh, saving the time delivery and uh, time and quality is improved so it depends on your ship size how your prefabrication has to be done so we'll start with your uh, past papers now sir ek wo topic ka baat sir ye excluded or uh, spaces diagram ke sath wo to kitni baar kara diya tha wo to bahut baar aapko kara hai march pe march sir ek baar wo ha sir wo diagram bata dete ek baar ha pehle main ye paper to kar lu uske baad diagram pe aaunga uske baad the excluded to karna hi ha ji ye to karne ke baad wohi wohi topic lena hai na ठीक है भाई अगर मैंने पास पेपर के बात तो वही करना है ना एक्सक्लूड के डायग्राम दिखा दूंगा घबराओ नहीं नाउ दिस इज योर मे इंटरनल पेपर मतलब ये होगा मे बी अप्रैल पेपर ऑफ एमएमडी so here you have to sketch and label uh, roro vessel and describe the salient features 
तो इसमें सेलियन फीचर्स क्या क्या है आपके सेलियन फीचर्स आपके डेक्स हैं सो मेनी डेक्स आर देयर एंड द डेक्स स्ट्रेंथनिंग इज हैवी द डीपर ट्रांसफर्सेस लॉन्जिट्यूड्स आर क्लोजर देयर आर वर्चुअली लेस नंबर ऑफ ट्रांसफर्स बल्कहेड्स वॉइड स्पेसेस आर मोर वेंटिलेशन फैसिलिटीज आर देयर एंटी हीलिंग टैंक्स आर देयर देन योर रैम्प्स आर देयर सो सो मेनी थिंग्स यू कैन राइट power ramp stand ramp uh, and then your uh, features of checking your roll and then uh, then its structure describe kar sakte so all that you can write in the salient features now 6a this define and describe normalizing brittle fracture real point so normalizing and brittle fracture to थोड़ा सा डायग्राम के साथ आप ब्रिटल फ्रैक्चर एंड यील्ड पॉइंट को एक्सप्लेन करो नॉर्मलाइजिंग तो यू कैन राइट कि नॉर्मलाइजिंग किस टेम्परेचर पे होता है आ, जो आपका यूटेक्टोइड टेम्परेचर है उसके ऊपर नॉर्मलाइजिंग आपका कैसे कूलिंग होता है तो यू हैव टू राइट दैट किस टेम्परेचर के ऊपर कितना डिग्रीज करना है कई लोग आप लिखते ही नहीं हो आप बोलते ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज अब आप नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर नहीं है वो you take the temperature as so that the change takes place in the atomic structure so that you have to write so each is uh, four four marks yield point to diagram banana padega brittle fracture aapko explain karna padega and kis feature kis uh, speed mein hota hai wo sara kuch likhna now two destructive test so we have done six test of destructive test all test are destructive only so any two test you can describe with diagram now seven is requirement and special condition needed for ship to be categorized as type a as per load line so uske what are the ship construction requirements for categorizing and the uh, special conditions that you have to list out and then you have to write about what is load line exemption certificate and under what circumstances will you issue it 7b is you have to explain the corrections to be made to the basic free board so then uh, at least five corrections so likhoge formulas likh doge and chote mote jo diagrams hai uske sath bana do so you will score full 8a is gross tonnage and net tonnage or फॉर्मूलाज इसकी कैलकुलेशन के फॉर्मूलाज इसके स्पेसिफिक नेट टेज में जो कंडीशन है वो सारा लिखना पड़ेगा वी एम नॉट आज जी आर टी एन आर टी सो दिस इज ओनली ग्रॉस टनेज एंड नेट टनेज सो यू हैव टू राइट द स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मूलाज एक्सप्लेन वॉट आर बोथ एंड द कंडीशन अंडर विथ नेट टनेज का फॉर्मूला लगता है एट बी वॉट इज एन एनक्लोज स्पेस सो Drawing a suitable diagram, explain enclosed space covered from above and below. So, ये आपको दिखा देता है above and below enclosed space का. so this is enclosed space covered from above and below ye wala hai so covered above and below niche ho gaya so this is the diagram you have to make for enclosed space covered from above and below and then you have to write both the con conditions one covered from above except awnings and below or covered from above or below and enclosed on three sides by partitions of bulkheads that exceed 5 feet in height as measured from the lowest point on uh, enclosed vessels for exception for osvs so that is your above and below ye wala diagram banana hai you have to write both points 
दिस इज नॉट एनक्लोज ये एक्सक्लूडेड आ गया सो दिस इज एनक्लोज स्पेस कवर्ड फ्रॉम अब एंड बिलो इसमें तो आपके और सारे डायग्राम्स हैं रेस्ट्रिक्टेड एंड ओपनिंग कवर्ड स्पेस ओपन साइज ऑन साइज एंड ऑल एक्सक्लूडेड स्पेसेस आ गए आपका एक और डायग्राम है सो एक्सक्लूडेड स्पेस सेपरेटेड बाय ओपन स्पेस एंड स्पेस बिलो अनकवर्ड ओपनिंग्स दिस इज वन एक्सक्लूडेड स्पेस ये सारे डायग्राम्स आपको देखने हैं एनक्लोज एंड एक्सक्लूडेड स्पेसेस मैं इसके बाद तो एक्सप्लेन करूंगा लेट मी फिनिश द पेपर एंड देन वील स्टार्ट विद दैट ओनली Now this is sketch and label midship section of row row. So, इसमें आपको detail नहीं लिखना. Just have to sketch and label. So you don't you don't have to describe. You don't describe लिखा ही नहीं है. So just sketching and labeling. बराबर करो. अच्छा करो because this is 25 marks. And all your uh, sketching should not be in pen. It should be in pencil. Labeling should be in pencil on a separate sheet. What are the traditional method of building a ship? तो ट्रेडिशनल मेथड जो शिप बिल्डिंग का था शिप यार्ड में बनाता था जो आपको पूरा प्रोसीजर बताया हुआ है जिस प्रोसीजर में आपका पूरा फ्लो चार्ट है दैट इज द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ऑफ बिल्डिंग द शिप इन व्हाट वे प्री फैब्रिकेशन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अर्लियर मेथड पहले एवरीथिंग वाज मेड इन द शिप नाउ डेज प्री फैब्रिकेशन योर सेक्शन आर ब्रॉड टू दर्ड एंड देन ज्वाइंट टूगेदर एंड देन एडवांटेजेस ऑफ प्री फैब्रिकेशन जो अभी किया था Now describe step by step the procedure of computing some of reward of type B. So there you have type A, or फिर उसमें से कौन कौन से computations पे type B करोगे? We have one. Seven में है. There are five. You have to write only on three. Don't write on all the five. You're wasting time. अब जैसे पेपर आता है आप लोग सारे ही रख देते हो. So we have to select only three. So do only three. Each is eight marks. And margin line ये सब आपको diagrams बना के समझाना पड़ेगा. Floodable line, margin line, multiple load line, superstructure. ये सब diagrams से बना के समझाओ. Because each is eight marks. 8A is your describe the sequence of events which takes place in modern shipyard while building a ship again actually wohi wala aa gaya tradition method of ship building mein wohi cheez aa gayi to sequence of events mein flow chart banana hai sara and aid of sketch describe the impact test conducted on metal so only one test impact test make the diagram explain it right short notes on gross tonnage net tonnage subdivision load line effect of increasing beam on gz that is your stability question ye isme aa gaya so that's the simple thing aisa kuch hai nahi Now sketch and label the midship section of modern chemical tanker. So modern chemical tanker may uh, the longitudinals under deck will not be there. They'll be on top of deck. Your girders will be on top of deck, and uh, inside longitudinals will be in the double hull. So you'll have a flush surface in uh, the chemical tanker. वो आपको बनाना है. In this sketch. indicate the spacing required for the tank side from the ship side and bottom for different types of tankers so isme type 1 type 2 type 3 jisme double hull ka spacing kya hai type 1 mein kya hai type 2 mein kya hai type 3 mein to koi spacing hi nahi hai so you have to make the diagrams and explain aapko ek bar dikha deta hu fir se type 1 type 2 type 3 
so this is your type 1 configuration this is the type 2 configuration and this is type 3 configuration in type 1 the double is double all is breadth divided by 5 or 11.5 whichever is less but any curve should not be less than 760 mm at curve area so it should not be less than 760 mm so this is b by 5 or 11.5 whichever is less and any area uh, distance should not be less than 760 mm the db will be b by 15 or 6 meters whichever is less b by 15 or 6 meters whichever is less इसमें लिखा नहीं है बी बाई फिफ्टीन और सिक्स मीटर तो बी बाई फिफ्टीन और सिक्स मीटर विच एवर इज लेस फॉर योर टाइप टू द डबल ऑल विल बी सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम नॉट लेस देन दैट द कर्व एरिया शुड ऑल्सो बी नॉट लेस देन सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम डबल बॉटम हाइट बी बाई फिफ्टीन और सिक्स मीटर विच एवर इज लेस टाइप थ्री नो डबल हल नो डबल बॉटम ठीक है तो ये आपको करना है ये सारा लिखा हुआ है ये देखो b by 15 and 6 meter whichever is less तो आपको ये भी लिख देना है साइड शेल प्लेटिंग नॉट लेस देन ट्रांसफर्स एक्सटेंड ऑफ डैमेज फ्रॉम द मॉडल लाइन ये सारा लिखना पड़ेगा दिस डाय रिक्वायरमेंट डज नॉट अप्लाई टू टैंक्स फॉर डाइल्यूटेड स्लॉप्स अराइजिंग फ्रॉम टैंक वॉशिंग सिमिलरली एस टी दिस टाइप 2 This requirement does not apply to tanks for diluted slops arising from tank washings, and there is no requirement for ST3. These kind of tankers will not be applied to U.S. waters from 2015. So Type Three cannot come in U.S. waters. These notes I have sent to you. All these notes I have sent to you. so i'm doing the papers so that uh, jo typical questions hai and i'll answer that accordingly so aapke doubt clear ho jayenge 6a describe the process of computation of free board of type b ye bar bar aaya hua hai wo karna hai addition requirement of b60 to aap wo table se bana ke tabular bana ke usme kar sakte ho computation kaise hai b60 kaise karoge ye wala to dobara aa chuka hai 7 ka all the it has already come Eight is a standard fire test, A class division and service spaces. So service spaces ka jo hai whatever the service spaces you have. Nahi to main iske notes aapko additionally bhej dunga service spaces ke. Just let me write down. The standard fire test ka bhi nahi bheja sir. Kisko nahi bheja? रेफरल बैच को उसमें सार, मैंने सारे नोट्स की उसमें स्टैंडर्ड पार्ट टेस्ट का नहीं था बेटा नए बैच को भेज दिया है अब चेक करो अपना मेल मैंने भेज दिया है ठीक है चेक, चेक करो आपने चेक ही नहीं किया पहले ही बोल दिया नहीं भेजा है बेटा मेल चेक कर लिया करो भेजा कि नहीं भेजा उसमें देखो ना उसमें एंटायर चीज है स्टैंडर्ड फायर टेस्ट उसी में है अलग से नहीं है स्टैंडर्ड फायर टेस्ट बल्कहेड जो दिए हैं दैट इज इन द वन नोट ओनली अलग अलग नोट्स नहीं है उसके इज इन द सेम थिंग ओके सो सर्विस स्पेसेस का नोट्स मैं बना दूंगा इसका नोट नहीं है सर्विस स्पेसेस का आई जस्ट राइट डाउन इसके सर्विस स्पेसेस के बारे में नोट बना देता हूं तुम सर्टेन आइटम्स आर नॉट देयर उसको मैं कर दूंगा This was actual paper I think हमने कर लिया है यही वाला है जो एक्चुअल पेपर है अच्छा ये वाला हमने नहीं किया अप्रैल का एक्चुअल पेपर है इन दिस यू हैव मिडशिप सेक्शन ऑफ डबल हल क्रूड ऑयल टैंकर सो यू हैव टू स्केच एंड लेबल ओनली यू डोंट हैव टू डिस्क्राइब 
ओके रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ सोलर्स फॉर सब डिविजन ऑफ पैसेंजर शिप ये जो हमने सब डिविजन कराया दैट इज सोलर्स रिक्वायरमेंट्स ओनली तो आपको एक्सप्लेन करना है फॉर सब डिविजन ऑफ सी वन सी टू सी थ्री ये सारा एक्सप्लेन करना है क्यों है विद डायग्राम्स सेवन में यू हैव टू राइट आई द्री एक्सक्लूडेड स्पेसिस स्टैंडर्ड फायर टेस्ट सब डिविजन लोड लाइन परमिशिबल लेंथ और फ्लडेबल लेंथ डिस्क्राइब द ब्रीफ सीक्वेंस ऑफ इवेंट दैट टेक्स प्लेन मॉडल शिप बड़ी बार बार आया हुआ है आपको फ्लो चार्ट बनानी है राइट फ्रॉम द इंसेप्शन पॉइंट टिल लॉन्चिंग पूरी आपको सीक्वेंस ऑफ इवेंट्स डालनी है एट बी एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ हाइट एंड साइज स्टील ये तो आपको आराम से कराया हुआ है दैट यू कैन डू इसमें ऐसा कुछ नहीं है तो दैट्स एन एम पेपर जनवरी वाला करते हैं ये तो हमने कर लिया है इट ऑलरेडी वी हैव डन दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन अब आ गया दिसंबर so sketch and label midship section of vlcc now they have not mentioned uh, double hull so isme single hull wala bana do aur describe kar do either you can make vlcc double hull also because they have not mentioned double hull so jaise purana vlcc kya tha that you can make isme vlcc wala aapko dikha deta hu what is vlcc wala so this uh, vlcc ka bana sakte ho sir because they have not mentioned uh, double hull to aap bana sakte ho ya double hull banao koi problem nahi usme either of this you can make agar lekin specifically double hull bola hai tab ye nahi banana and isko describe karna hai 6a how the tabular freeboard converted to basic uh, jaise table se aap nikal rahe ho type a and type b then how you कन्वर्ट टू बी सिक्सटी फॉर्मूला लगा के दैट यू हैव टू शो एंड चीफ ऑफिसर वॉट आर द एलिमेंट्स यू आर गोइंग टू चेक फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ लोड लाइन सो द सिक्सटीन आइटम्स वॉट यू डू इन लोड लाइन सर्वे यू हैव टू राइट सेवन ए सब डिविजन लोड लाइन वॉट इज सी एस ये एक्सप्लेन करना है वॉट इज क्राइटेरियन ऑफ सर्विस न्यूमरल वाई इट इज इज डन दैट यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन एंड डायग्राम बना दो उसमें with a suitable neat sketch describe excluded space with restricted end opening now restricted end opening zara main aapko fir bata deta hu what is restricted end opening
ये वाला है ये दोनों बनाना पड़ा रेस्ट्रिक्टेड एंड ओपनिंग तो इन द रेस्ट्रिक्टेड एंड ओपनिंग दीज आर द टू एक्सक्लूडेड स्पेट विथ रेस्ट्रिक्टेड एंड ओपनिंग ठीक है तो ये दो आपको बनाने पड़ेंगे मेक थ्री डी एंड दिस बोथ टू एक्सप्लेन नो प्रॉब्लम इन दैट सो दिस इज ये वाला इनक्लोज एंड नॉट एक्सक्लूडेड ये वाला है और आगे वाला जो है दैट इज इनक्लोज एंड नॉट एक्सक्लूडेड so that is restricted and open now eight mein standard fire test alag se likhna hai then a b and c that you have to explain all 9 a three destructive test so out of 6 you have to explain three destructive test write short notes on rendering use of cad cam in ship building and prefabrication in ship building ye to aapko pata hi hai मिडशिप सेक्शन ऑफ रो रो वेसल सिक्स ए फाइव करेक्शन अप्लाई टू बेसिक फ्री बोर्ड कैलकुलेट सम फ्री बोर्ड वॉट इज लोड लाइन एग्जामेशन सर्टिफिकेट वेन इट इज इशूड सेवन इज वॉट इज पर्मिबिलिटी एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सब डिविजन कैलकुलेटेड दैट फॉर्मुला यू हैव टू राइट द फैक्टर ऑफ सब डिविजन कैलकुलेट विद रिगार्ड टू पैसेंजर सब डिविजन देन gross tonnage net tonnage formulas how the calculation is done it is uh, out of four any two heat treatments so that will be each will be uh, six marks heat treatment then write short notes on nesting shell expansion plan that you make a small diagram and explain tig welding make a small diagram nesting also you can make a small diagram to explain better to make some diagrams uh, because that's more sco uh, scoring there seven a is explain the stress strain curve so you have to draw the full stress strain curves and explain the points and further for various metals draw the various curves and explain that that will score full not only stress strain ka banao each point has to be elaborated in that stress strain curve plus additionally for the various metals make that stress strain like plastic ka kaise hoga ductile material kaise hoga brittle ka kaise hoga usko alag se bana ke dikha 9b what precautions required for corrosion when aluminum is connected to steel so you have to explain with diagrams one is bolting cladding and uh, welding tig welding all these things you have to explain okay is 2019 paper sketch and label double hull oil tanker that we have done 6a limitations in use of oil as fuel so that you have done an engineering knowledge what limitations you have in oil and fuel what pollution you are coming sulfur content is increasing heat loss is there all that limitations of then your chances of combustion uh, pollution all that are the limitations the use of oil as fuel iska note chahiye to main bana dunga fir iska bhi bana deta hu otherwise ye to aapne padha hua hai n e k chahiye to main alag se note bana deta hu iska service spaces limitation oil as fuel standard fire test नॉन कमर्शियल मटीरियल आप एक्चुअली नॉन कमर्शियल मटीरियल एक ही लाइन का है आई सी इफ आई कैन एड सर्टन मोर लाइन 
in non commercial material then you will have special category spaces special category spaces will be your uh, coffer dam uh, and then other other spaces void spaces and all so that will all come under uh, special category spaces types of bulkheads uh, now they have not specified which type of bulkheads so types of bulkheads will be one as per construction uh main iska short note bana dunga nahi to saturday sunday banaunga fir ye sare notes jitne sare notes hain fir saturday sunday banaunga types of bulkheads mein aayega aapka as per construction plain bulkheads and corroded bulkheads uh, corrugated bulkheads uh, as per water tightness you'll have uh, water tight bulkheads non water tight bulkhead and oil tight bulkheads and as per fire bulkheads you'll have type a type b and type c so ye pura aap likh sakte ho types of bulkheads seven differentiate between enclosed space excluded space With appropriate sketches, so सारे बनाने पड़ेंगे इसमें. 25 marks. है. Entire thing you have to explain and draw all the diagrams. Excluded, enclosed. सारे diagram बनाने. 8A, GRT, NRT. ये पहले थे, अब नहीं है. Cross tonnage, net tonnage. ये अब use हो रहे हैं. Formulas लिखने. इसको कैसे calculate करते थे? इसको कैसे calculate करते थे? And the differences. What are the various criteria for excluding a space while calculating the volume as per uh, tonnage convention? So, excluding, how do we do it? We have to explain all these things. This was 2019 paper. August was it? May we do it? so sketch and label lng tanker now there is no explanation written so you can sketch and label ab sir we have multiple load lines hamara hai which we have already done 6a is the advantage at present large number of ocean going ships are built on height and size steel with regard to that explain the advantage disadvantage respect to initial cost so initial cost of high tensile steel is more as compared to ms steel maintenance also is more for high tensile steel as compared to ms because agar usme corrosion ho jayega the strength will be lost earning capacity will be more for high tensile steel than ms because the dead weight because the light shift weight will be reduce your dead weight will increase for the same displacement so the earning capacity will be more that you have to explain advantage and limitation of aluminum which we have done with reference to in the right short notes or length block coefficient water tight and weather tight so water tight and weather tight mein difference ye hai ki water tight ka matlab hai whatever is at and below the uppermost continuous deck is water tight anything above the uppermost continuous deck is weather tight weather tight means in any sea condition the water is not going to enter that space even the hatches or any openings so that is weather tight water tight means in case of submersion when the ship is submerging in water then the water will not enter there that is water tight then how is the minimum bow height assigned and importance of bow height that we have done in load line that you have to make with the diagram 8a special measures for aluminum structure to be connected that is the three methods that you have to write with diagrams explain with sketches body plan half breadth plan and shear plan that we have done so explain with sketches all the three now this is lpg so sketch and label lpg they have not mentioned which kind any kind they have not mentioned 
which kind of lpg so any kind you can make five ye to rolling ka aa gaya intact stability so six is your a60 fire division ye bata sakte ho what is a60 a60 that is is going this will uh, prevent the passage of smoke and flame for 60 minutes and the temperature rise also will be contained for 60 minutes that's for a60 alternate load lines permissible length 7x salient features of load line so that is a theory question to aram se likh sakte ho salient features of load line नहीं तो आपको अलग से चाहिए तो देखता हूँ इसका क्वेश्चन का क्योंकि आपको क्वेश्चन आंसर्स भी भेजे हुए हैं नहीं है तो मैं अपना अलग से बना के आपको भेज दूंगा सेल इन फीचर्स और लोड लाइन कन्वेंशन ये मैं आपके नोट्स अलग से बना दूंगा फिर स्टेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टाइप एंड टाइप बी सिक्सटी सो दैट यू टू राइट विच वी ऑलरेडी डन It is testing of metals in ship building. So all six tests को explain करना पड़ेगा. छः के छः test. All the six test has to be explained. Not के दो करके छोड़ दिया. All six have to be done. Then describe and sketch shear plan and body plan. तो ये आपको करना है. अब आखरी कर रहे हैं 2018 and then. Uh, राज के लिए हो गया सो नेक्स्ट टाइम विल स्टार्ट विद योर लोड लाइन से नॉ फोर इज कैच एंड लेबल द मिडशिप सेक्शन ऑफ हैच कवरलेस कंटेनर वेसल तो आपको पूरा मिडशिप सेक्शन बनाना पड़ेगा इलस्ट्रियल एंड Uh, features of compensating loss of strength due to large openings so isme aapko gusset plate banani padegi aapko dikha deta hu gusset plate maine banayi hui hai this is the one you have to draw gusset plate so when a large openings are there that corner area will be subjected to a uh, lot of stress crack ho jayega so you prepare a gusset plate because you have hatch side girder and deep end hatch ye wala so similarly aap is area ko rounded karoge to ye chote chote diagram aap bana ke explain kar sakte ho the radius hatch cover uh, corner and elliptical hatch corner on top and below you can have fitting of ye banane ki zarurat nahi hai just make all these four cassette plate bana do and hatch corner there is a additional feature of compensating that you can take a sketch uh, the photograph here Have you taken this photograph, this diagram? Let's go save it. Lo. Okay, we'll do the next question. Six is our question. So you have floodable length, permissible length, and subdivision load line. So you have to explain with the subdivision requirement. With respect to subdivision requirement of passage, तो उसके बारे में भी लिख दो Subdivision requirement के बारे में भी लिख दो and floodable length, permissible length and subdivision load line. Now condition of assignment, this you have to write and then explain because these are 25 mark questions. Conditions of assignment. So any questions you have from your end to ask 